Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. So, where last we left, we were looking for Cade Newer, I think it's called. Uh, let's check our journal. Cade Newer, yes. So, we came to this point in the uh, wooded area that we're in, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Magran's Fork. So, we have come down here and up here. I thought maybe this is the direction that we need to go to get to Cade Newer because if we look on the main map you kind of come down here and then you go across here and then you go to Cade Newer. But after reviewing both maps I think maybe we need to go down here or we need to go further down and then we get to another point. So we're going to start by going down here and then if we fail, we'll go down here. This is the plan. So we just need to find the. Hopefully, there's no walls here because apparently those walls, those walls, reckless. We are a very um, squishy party, but we do have a building right here, which is nice. I didn't even notice this before. Let's see what we got. Okay. Ready when you are. Oh, we can go inside. Am I missing content? Oh shit. <laughs> Will <Willow> wisp. <laughs> okay, this might be another moment where we just die, but let's be hopeful. Um, no, nope, that's that's. I mean, okay. Immune to disease, ground, hold, poison, prone, sickness, stuck. Okay, so it's immune to... Okay, we know what some of its immunities are. Okay. And let's choose what our other wizard's going to do. He has uh, dazzling lights. Fan of flames, is that like a... Um... Oh, what's it called? Burning hands, essentially. Uh, sunless grasp. Cuts his hand become so cold as to freeze what they touch. Does freeze damage to the target and reduces its accuracy. We're going to go for another set of magic missiles though, I think. You, my friend. What do you have? Armor of faith. Uh, shield of faith increases damage. So it's kind of like a, if you think D&D &D turns, shield of faith. Okay, blessing, divine terror. Okay, I thought he was a druid. Now I'm getting the sense he's more of a um. I can't remember what this this game is calling it, but a cleric of sorts. Holy meditation. Okay. Withdraw. Okay. Rod. You, my friend, do not have anything damaging, do you? That we can use at this distance. Can't a single enemy to halt, causing them to temporarily cease all movement. Doesn't seem to be immune to it, but I... Hmm. You know what? Try that. It'll get into our range before it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, um, okay, we killed that a lot quicker than I thought we would have. Yeah? I'm it actually shocked when we leveled up, I think. Nice! I pressed it. Well, there we go. Do you want to increase lore, stealth, athletics, stealth, stealth loves the character allows characters of any class to attempt to avoid being seen or heard. It, use, it is used automatically whenever a, whenever a character is in scouting mode. Okay. 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 Athletics. Law. We're going to go with more law. Because more law is always good. When used points will carry to next level. That's nice. 
Um, to be honest, I think he's just going to be low because at the moment it doesn't. Uh, the others don't seem all too good to me. Because mm, maybe we'll leave those till next level. Ooh, okay, so we get second level spells. I think second level spells are like D and D terms. Like, say, like if you're playing fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons, the when you get second level spells, also at third level, it is it is a moment where your character is very very much when they uh, when they start to get some soul into them. So we have Ray of Fryer, Fryer, Ray of Fryer. Okay, Ray of Fire. Uh, target beam. Okay, it's a beam, beam attack. Necrotic lance. That looks fun. Okay, mirrored image or mirror image. Is it the same? Do you have multiple of you? Um, duplicates the, the cast and distracts them. Grants high defense bonus reduction when taking when each hit taken. Um, it'd be nice if it was like um. I know there's going to be a lot of references to Dungeons and Dragons. If you don't play that, then you'll be a lot less canny to what I'm saying, but to, um, in that, it is a spell where you duplicate yourself, I think it's three times, and there is a chance that you'll hit the duplicate and you'll do, be dealt no damage at all. Um, it's an AoE, but it doesn't have anything that we want there. Have we got anything that sounds... Let's see. Bewildering Spectacle. No. Bulwark against the elements. Um, creates a mystical shield around the caster, suffering the, um, fusing them with bonuses to burn, freeze, corrode, and shock damage reductions. Cumbersome... Combusting wounds? Not cumbersome wounds. Causes enemies' wounds in the area of effect to ignite, inflicting additional burn damage over time. Each each time they are wounded... That is... That is cool. I will keep that. Uh, and a... AoE corrupt damage by the look of it. I might take that as well. Eat with target spirits, infusing corrosive damage and converting the essence into endurance for the caster. Hmm. Sounds good, sounds good. Foe, AoE, drains 66.9 corrode damage as endurance over 14 seconds. That sounds nice, that sounds nice, that sounds nice. That might be what we go for. Blinded? No. I think Miasma of Dull Mindedness. Okay. Cloud of heavy fog settles in the in the minds of those in the area of effect. Dulling senses senses and wits, inflicting penalties to perception, intel, intellect and resolve. That sounds nice nice but not what I'm looking for. So next. Do we have anything else that we need to do? No. Okay. Done. We are leveled up. Ready when you are. Okay. Yes. I didn't know if it was going to work. How it's going to work. But yes, it's the spell spell leveling does seem to be very much Dungeons and Dragons. Three first level spells, two second level. Although slightly less. I think when you get to third level in D&D, you get four. First level spells and two second, but yes. we are okay with this. It's okay. Mm. So we have just say the word, or do we have four? And I've already cast one, and we haven't haven't had it replenished. I think that might be it. Not Let's a problem. Okay, no, I want everyone. Let's Not a problem. The, um... Oh, okay. Using tab, we can see things. Orland's Cradle and a brick. 
and block pick. And some copper. We need a we need a rogue. We need a rogue of some sort. Okay, I think we should go in here and see what's in the home. Okay, welcome back. We um, had a little technical difficulty there where the um, game decided to crash on us, but it's okay. Uh, we haven't set foot in this house yet. In fact, I I clicked on something here that I didn't even realize was there before. And it was a settler's arrow, I think. Um, Not in my inventory. It might be somewhere else. Scrolls, we can make scrolls. Okay, that's cool. That's, that's really cool. Didn't didn't think we could do that on the fly. I thought we were going to have to find like a bench or some sort to do that. But we unfortunately haven't come across any form of spellcasters, and all of our characters are spellcasters at the moment. Like we have a there's a staff and a rod. Unfortunately, we haven't come across any any ones or scepters as it as it may be. Oh, you have a raper on you. I didn't even know you had a raper, dude. Maybe we can change his primary color. That's cool. You can uh, make him look as much like a. Put me in some hot pink if you want to. But we won't. Nah, we'll just. No, we didn't mean to start. I want to look. Yeah, we haven't got any. Uh... No, he's got a cape. Why do you get the cape and I don't get a cape, hey? Hey? He's got a hood. Here's me looking like a fucking noob. Well, he's got all the shit. Nah, I'm not joking. Right, um... Oh, there we go. You gained item, ingredients, settler's arrow. That's it. So, I just came back here, killed the Will-O-Wisp, and we're gonna jump back into the... into the abode. Okay. Great, we didn't crash this time. I was going to say uh, I will have skipped that. We'll take those. But I um I will probably just say the word. Wind up skipping a lot of um loading screens in this game. Okay, there wasn't actually anything of interest in here. Which is a bummer. Ready when you are. Just because they take so long. They are like um, Fallout 4. Fallout 4's loading screens are endless. But we'll say, like The Witcher, I, I don't cut all of them out. I cut some of them out because they're long, but mostly they're, you know, a couple of seconds, which is. It really strikes me as really odd considering that The Witcher is the best looking of the games. It has less rendering of textures to do. It has more rendering of textures to do, but it just runs smoother. I suppose that just because the game is probably more Not a problem. probably better optimized, which is weird considering that um, it comes from the smallest developer. I suppose CD Projekt Red aren't aren't small anymore, but they uh, they were once upon a time. Okay, we need to come to this part so we can go to the Black Marsh. Okay, it'll take four hours to walk there. And at the Black Marsh we are... I love this. This is true signification that you have come into the Black Marsh. You go from green to black almost seamlessly. <laughs> this, um, this game has been very good. Oh, okay, we're getting attacked already. By a forest troll. Hmm. Okay, a forest troll. Ooh. The range on that is a lot shorter than I thought it was. And that's not target the actual creature. That's a... Okay. Um, one thing I do wish that this game had. I know we have the one that can, you know, fling things at people. But I wish we had a um, this grimoire. Oh yes, was was double. I don't even touch that on the fly, but it's nice to know. I think um, yeah, you have minor missiles is a good one. It's got some distance on it. 
and you... Well, I suppose you can wait until he gets a bit closer and just yeah. hold him in place. And then we can pause again. We can... Get our wizards... To... To do these things. Well, at least they go into range of that. Of things. Which is nice. It's nice. Okay, what do you have that's ranged? I don't think you have anything that's ranged, do you? Holy Radians, mm, no. We'll let you just do whatever you want to. They can attack the troll camp, who's... To be honest, the trolls... Bloody tough. Okay. And you can... When you do that... You can... Get that on the go. You can. In fact, we don't even need it, do we? Let's burn this away. Okay. Shit things. Get to our enemies. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Not a problem. Not what I want to do. Let's see what we had. Troll skin. Nice. Not a problem. Um, I think we need to stay along this trail. I mean, we don't want to go too far off it. Um, we're quite low level at the moment, so I don't want to do too much, like, of exploring and things like that. Okay, we're at an intersection. Let's have a look at the world map, and I would say we need to continue going forward to get to our desired Look, okay, That's a fucking skeleton of a dragon. That is great. Feel my scatter crawling between the beast's teeth. Mmm. Beautiful. I'd have taken some bone from it. If I could have. Okay, we have more of these illusions popping up. I think that signifies we're going to the right place. They're all torture as well. It's hard. Yeah, Cade Nua. Our next stop. Okay, it'll take us 18 level hours to get there. Two level ups here. Aloth. Okay, Aloth, what do you want? Man. You're... You're almost as lorry as I am. Hmm. Law 3, plus 2 wizard, plus 2... Gentry. <coughs> Law represents characters coming accumulated miscellaneous knowledge um, high law values ha allow you to use higher level scrolls um, traps survival I'm gonna dump law for you as well there you go good sir okay what do we want for you what spells do we want to give you we don't want to give you that we want to give you Okay, we'll give you Necrotic Lance and Mirrored Image. No, we'll give you Necrotic Lance and Ray of Fire. Or, what's the range? The range of Ray of Fire is only 5 meters. And the, where's the range on this? It's an area of effect. Okay, yeah, we'll give you Rolling Flame. Next. Okay, you're done. Let's see how about our other friend here. Let's see what you got. You're quite a lorry guy. But I'll give you mechanics. And some athletics. You might wind up hitting things more than us. Class unlocks. Okay. Okay. I think he is very much a cleric, essentially. A priest, but a cleric. Um, he has the same thing as a cleric does in Dungeons and Dragons. You can select. You, you select your powers daily, or what well, powers and spells daily. You just get them all on level up. That is nice. 
I would. Okay. Can you? Can you? Oh. Oh my. That's. That's why you had so many spells before. Okay, how it works in D D and D. There will yeah. be a lot of D and D references. I've already said this. Is you have. You select a certain number determined by other things that you can use per day. But this is just letting him use any of them. And you can use them. Is he bad? Is he nice? <laughs> okay, he's nice. Let's talk to him. Can I? Maybe can I. Let's see. Just... Just off the side of the path into Cade Newer stands an impress imposing figure, a tall, thick set arm. Um, I couldn't remember how this was pronounced. Amoa? We'll go with Amoa. Clad in, a worn, uh, clad in worn armor and peering at the, at the outer walls of the keep. In his hand is a small piece of charcoal, and it works. Oh, yeah. It works feverishly at talking, taking notes upon a small scrap of paper. More than, more than once, he has to reach up to prevent his colourful, colourful, colourful cap from falling off his, off his head as he gazes upwards. I am sorry about the colourful thing. I got um, I'd had like, huh, when I read colourful and I thought, oh, that's that's spelt wrong, but I am. Um, English, so we spell colour with a U, and obviously this game's made by American people, and it trips me up a lot more than it should have. It should do. If I read a word that, should, that we we put U in, they don't. What are you doing over there? The man looks up over at you, blinking in surprise. His face spilt, spilts, splits. Oh fucking hell! His face splits. A w in a wide and very toothy grin, and he waves the parchment in greeting. Killing time, if I'm honest. I've already walked the perimeter twice. There were names scratched upon some of the bricks. Just there. Worked in works in masons, I expect. Carving a little immortality for themselves. He looks. He looks at the wall again. Expression fond. It's a fine keep. Cade Nua. Two centuries to his name. And abandoned for nearly as long. I wonder why it's been abandoned but for so long. The truly interesting part is in there. And I haven't had much luck in reaching the keep itself. I hoped to find the master of this place. A man by the name of Meerwald. But it seems that he either holds his privacy most dear... Or else has been devoured by his house guests. Okay. I came here looking for Merald as well. Oh, truly. Then perhaps we can help one another. The grounds are infested with all manner of beasts. I've never seen the like. I didn't want to risk it alone. But you seem capable. Together I'm sure we can manage it. And then we can both ask our questions of Merald. I seek a great treasure, you see. Not gold or silver, but the Talvi Oratoa. You might call it the Book of Virtues. It's a sacred text of the Rawatai, but we possess only a fragment of it. Okay, okay. A year I've journeyed in search of the rest, and I uncovered evidence that leads me to believe the original lies just there, beneath the keep. Just there beneath the key keep, okay. Then we must find it. Excellent. Lead on, my friend, and I will be at your heels. Ah, wait. Speaking of that, I ought to warn you first. Wondrous teeth, I nearly forgot. I have, at times, been fond. It began in Adir, and in Exomital they attacked outright. I believe they do not wish for me to find what I am looking for. Okay, okay, that's fine. I say believe, but I have been told as much by one of my would-be assassins. I paid them little mind. Humorless swords in long robes. But it's why I bought the sword, you see. And it's only fair that you should know. I'll keep an eye out. Let's be on our way. 
for a few assassins between friends, actually. <laughs> I'm glad you're not discouraged. Come then. Who knows what we will find inside? Have we achieved ourselves a fighter? We have. Nice. Yes? Um, let's see what this little thing means. Nothing. Ready when you are. Yes? Uh, okay, yes, we have things that you might be able to use, actually. Good, sir. Do you have you have a fine S stock, a two hundred twenty blade, but it's slow, and what is that? It's a fucking gun. Oh, nice! I didn't even know that was a choice. We have a spear and a shield. You know. We will give you the spear. We will give you the shield. That way, if you decide you want to use them, you can. Um, you're wearing heavy armor. We don't have any form of heavy armor you could use. And nothing else of. Nothing else of note, no. Let's. Ready when you are. He's getting second wind, okay. Not a problem. Let's go within the castle walls then. Cold and dry with cobwebs in every crack. Reminds cobwebs me of Woodica. Woodica, is that your home? I presume it's your home. Um, there's nothing in here so far. Oh, uh, there we go. A shadow. Hmm. Immune to the same things. Four. Okay, you. What can you do? First level chanter. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you attack him as soon as he as soon as he gets within range. Okay, let's see what you got. Second level spells. Creates a long lasting circle healing. Regenerating alloys endurance marks target for retribution, inflicting burn damage and loan def deflection. Grants his own of divine favor. Gain another word that should have a unit. I am only joking. Um, okay. Place my on the floor. Sends enemies sprawl, sprawling on contact, causing them to become prone. Suppress affliction. Hmm. Can you? I wonder if you can upcast spells. It'd be nice if you could. Okay. Let's see if they have any. No, let's just... What's this actually? Right click for details. Okay. Unfortunately... We can't, um... Do what I wanted to do, but... We can do that for sure. We have the Arcane Assault. Combusting wounds we can also do. Okay. And we go. Okay. A phantom. A phantom, okay. Hmm. Okay. We'll use that. Um. What's that do? Okay. Didn't know that was a thing. I imagine this might be a um, thing he's actually a bit Im more immune to. Fortifies the health, the health of allies in the area effect, granting immunity to sickness and weakness afflictions. 
Yeah, you do that. You attack him. Okay. Oh, you fucking idiot. Okay. So, my character didn't do what I fucking told him to do. And that is irritating. Did you? Yeah, that's... That's her. Um, you can... You can attack him. Don't run away like an idiot. Okay. You can... Restore light. Some endurance. We don't need endurance yet. We'll just suppress anything that's wrong. Okay. Okay, we managed to kill them. Hey, and I'm alive again. Okay. By the look yeah. of it, we mm -hmm. need. Oh, God damn it. I think this is a camp moment. Okay, we just get gap damage reduction, that's all. I think. Yeah, you choose one of the bonuses, don't you? But none of us have anything in survival, so we'll just sit down, have a camp, hopefully restore spell slots and health and things like that. Which helps a great deal. Uh, spirit residue, it's an ingredient. Just nice. say the word. Phases. Phrases? Hmm. In fact, let's see what this is. Wine side of the pillar is, gear is graven with, with hundreds of hundreds of walls and ridge, walls and ridges, even under under, under layers of grime and moss. Audrey Yes. Is it? I can't remember actually. It was Audrey, wasn't it? Yeah. We can't go in there. But we can have a look around and see what there is. Okay, there we go. Oh, this trapdoor has been barred by, by the elements. Battered by the elements. Tugging on the rusted handles only produces heavy rattling. Okay. So it's barred from the other side, essentially. Small flame blight. You bet. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. It's one per rest. Okay, second one requires athletics. I, to be honest, would have thought second one would have just been a fighter thing. But apparently it's not. We'll use Holy Radiant to see what that does. And you can just attack. Okay. Both of those failed. The flame light. Flame is going to do fuck all to them. Okay, we can grasp you though. I will attack them both. You. Do, which one does more damage? That one's slow. That one's average. Okay, you can use that and attack him. And you can get up in melee and attack him. Go. Say the word. Yeah, we're almost dead already. Oh, I like we have a we have a little thing here that tells us where we're going. Um, what's it do? Um, let's see. I don't know what that actually does. Actually, what class is he? Because this seems like it's a bard. Oh, if he's a bard, that'd be cool. I'd always be a little bit sad if he was. If I knew that was an option, I would have gone for it. It would have been great. Um, let's see. 
Okay, let's increase our whole party. You, my uh, fire is not going to do anything. That might though. You can just attack with that though. Let's have it out. Okay. Hi. You won. Hooray. Hi. Do you not want to? What's gonna say? Aye, aye. You just want. To... Okay, no, we're not. Yeah. Get everyone here. Okay. Fucking hell. A will o' wisp. Okay. Will o' wisps. We can deal with will o' wisp. I think everyone should just, you know, attack with range if they can. And if it will be good. We can. Will o' wisp isn't too bad, apparently. Ready Keep forgetting we need to select the entire party. Let's investigate this place. Let's see if there's anything else. There's nothing of interest so far. I should probably be holding tab to see if there's anything actually of interest. Leave our village! Leave, Leave our village. We've done you. nothing. Okay. We're a watcher, so we're probably just seeing him as an aberration. Let's see what he says. You can't do this! Okay. Do what? This is our village! Our home! The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations! We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands! You can't just burn it all! Okay. <laughs> have mercy, soldier! Our warriors have all gone! <laughs> you can't burn us all because of them! No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, he's just coughing. He reaches out to you and opens his mouth to say something, but all that emerges is a series of violent coughs. He falls to his knees, choking on the thick, thickening smoke. Flames overtaken. The vision as you back away. Yeah? Okay. I love the descriptive. Look at how descriptive the text is. It's fantastic. It lets you. It really lets you like imagine the situation without giving you a big cinematic feel. And as I said, I, I am a player of tabletop RPGs, so that is something that I adore. Can I not open this door? Okay, so we're inside. Let's see. Let's see if we got anything in here. We have a. Clearly, of a deer and mink. They like their archways. We have a sword. Not a problem. Okay, nice, we have a sword, we have a sword. Let's see if we can give it to our friend. Nope. Is it in the stash? Okay, we have more than we thought. We have a dagger. We have multiple daggers. In fact, I'm... I'm going to... equip a dagger on my character. We have swords... Whispers... We have wood. We will give you that. We'll take the spear away. I think it does more damage than the spear anyway. 13 to 19. It does the same amount of damage to the spear. And it's the same speed. No difference. Um, I suppose with that being the case. Oh, we have scale mail. Nice. That being the case, we'll just empty, empty inventories and just... We'll just make it so we have everything in the stash. I didn't even realise this was a thing. Nope, I want my armor back. Not mine, his. He wants his arm back. Okay. Is that all we need? Party AI is inactive. Okay, we'll activate AI. Okay, is that why they're being so stupid? Because I turned the AI off. Oh. Did I turn it off or did 
Did I not? Okay, I can see a red circle up there. <laughs> it looks like there's a shadow right there. Just say the word. With a shadow. I think I'll just, you know, let off a, a nice smattering of missiles over there. Uh, would that do it? I don't think it does. We'll hold it in place then. You can shoot it if you get in range. Oh shit. Oh shit indeed. Two phantoms. You. You's holding him. You. Cast that on him. You do the same. Oh, fuck a doodle do need. Okay, you do that. You do that. I don't know if I'm going to hit my allies doing this. We might do. We might do, and if we do, we'll have to redo the. Um, don't even see Let's try something else. Jenna, I don't think. Out. I don't think we killed him. Maybe. We may have killed Arlo there. I don't know. But we killed the. We killed the enemies. That's what matters most. Uh, spirit stuff. Okay. Ready when you are. That's why we didn't. Okay. That's why we didn't know where. That's why I didn't know where the arrow was because the stash thing. Yes. Okay, got it. Let's see. Uh, the grey and brown pelt mix mint felt. Ugh, fucking hell. The grey, the grey and brown pelts of mice flit between the boards. I am awful, awful at reading. Apparently, apparently, if I'm reading out loud, I'm not very good. I don't generally read out loud, so that's probably the reason. I find it very weird as well, because I love reading. As you come to the end of the Great Hall, you perceive an inviting warmth radiating from a grand throne thwart with marble. Its, mas its masterful artistry out of, a out of place amidst the castle more pra practical stonework. The veiled face of a woman is carved above the throne, backing, watching over the room with hollow eyes. As you approach, you feel the warmth fluctuate, as though stirring. A voice rings out the car from the carving, permeating the, for the fortress thro thro through stone and air. Ah, uh, reading and talking at the same time apparently. Apparently, it's not my strong suit, which is very odd because, as I said, I do enjoy D and D, and I do DM and read aloud a lot but i generally have written that stuff down so i i know it off the top of my head another watcher in cadnua glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes what strange happenstance i am looking for magabold as am i if you should happen to find him i would be glad to know of it each day his absence brings new dust to my halls, new cracks to my stones. It's... it's shameful is what it is. The Earl would never have let it come to this. You are free to search for him here. I will unbar the way. Okay. You said these were your halls. Not as a land is its lords. More as a child is its mother's. This castle was my design, you see. The Earl appointed me to do it. I was getting on in years. I knew it would be my only chance to build something magnificent. Okay. When it was built, I couldn't bring myself to part from it. To go back to my lonely home. I begged the Earl to let me stay, to take care of it. It was all I wanted, and he granted it. Years later, when Bareth Sasha finally came calling, I begged the Earl to find a way to let me remain. And so he did. Time out where I'm fumbling over my own words here now. Not just what I'm reading. Tell me more about Merwald. He was a great man. He came here one day, young with long hair and polished armor, 
and he banished the dark things that had come to lurk in this place after centuries of neglect. He could see the beauty of this place, the way it had been, so he claimed it for his own when no one else would take it. We worked together to restore it. But he began to grow distant some time ago. He never told me why. He retreated deeper and deeper into the keep, never leaving, sending servants for food, hiding himself from my sight. The restoration stopped. Now to look at the place, you'd never know the progress we've made. In most places it's worse than it ever was. And all I can do is watch it crumble around me. Any idea where Merwald can be f where where we can find Merwald? I can feel his presence faintly somewhere deeper inside the keep. But he uses his gifts to confound me, and my senses are dulled while he does so. I only wish I could know his mind. Are you imprisoned in that throne? Imprisoned? At times it feels that way, I suppose. But it's more that I reside here. The throne was brought up from the ruins, one of the first things they found. As a last favor to a dying woman, the Earl arranged for me to be moved into it. Audra is an accommodating vessel for a soul. Okay. Oh, it's not as confining as it seems. I can feel the whole keep from here, and all things that are tied to it. There's something about this throne and its construction. Or maybe it's something about this place. What Earl are you speaking of? The Earl of Yenwood. The original, in fact, when Deerwood was a colony. He found this site, the only ruin Air Glanfarth refused to defend. And he believed its wealth would be great. The keep was his way of defending his family's claim. And that claim became his obsession. He had to know what lay beneath. He devoted his life to excavating the ruins below the keep. They had been sealed with rock and soil. Deliberately, it would seem. Years passed, and with them, the Earl. He dug his entire life and never found what he sought. His obsession became his sons and his son's sons. And one day, that young Earl broke through. What did he find? An endless maze, incomprehensible in its construction. But he would never come to learn more than that. Vile things had taken residence there. Vile and dangerous. They poured up through the keep and slew its residents. The Earl among them. After that, the keep remained abandoned. Unused, wasted. Mayor Wall's mastery of this place was the first hope I'd had in 200 years. How I'd longed to see it as it once was. I can only guess why all this has happened. I fear I've wronged the gods putting this place here, and they've doomed me to watch it wear away into dust. To witness my own folly. Farewell. Take care in your search. Many dangers lie in wait here. Okay. Okay, so... We have a keep that is... was constructed I presume that's why when the our friend here, Kanna, said that um, the keep was founded 200 years ago and that's an empty chest. Treasury, oh okay. Ready when you founded are. 200 years ago and has been empty for that long. I presume that by the sound of what she was saying, those a handful of earls, like, three or f like four, I think she said. And they, something came out that killed the more mother. Been out playing soldier again, have we? Go wash up and come help me shuck these peas. As you draw nearer, the apparition in front of you resolves into an elven woman. Her straggly hair is tied back, and she tugs at a loose thread on her apron. There's a distant hollow. Sorry? There's a distant hollow looking in, in her eyes until she notices you. A frail smile descends like a veil over her face. Okay. 
She turns. I like how the first bit was. I like how the first bit was voice acted, and then this bit was not. The voice acting is a bit mm, all over the place. Not in a bad way, as in like it's mix match. Like people haven't got the right voice for anything like that, or it's just, you know sometimes people talk, sometimes they don't. It doesn't bother me. She turns away from you, enough to produce a basket that, like her, is shimmering and semi-transparent. And no complaints. I've got to eat your vegetables. If you, you know, you've got to eat your vegetables if you want to grow up strong and be a real soldier one day. Just like we agreed, right? She watches you out of your, out of the corner of her eyes. Say nothing. Soldiers are important people. They defend the weak and punish the wicked. You're too young to understand now, but there are lots of wicked people. People like the man who murdered your father. Okay. Before you were born, the Glanfathans attacked settlers like us. They said we'd knocked over some of their special Adra rocks. That's why they call it the Broken Stone War. They got very angry, and so they came into our villages and killed many people. Your father was one of them. A pod slips out of her grasp, and she gr she jabs the side of her finger with a jagged thumbnail. She says nothing as the skin slowly turns from white to red. Was one of the people the Glamfarthans uh, Glamfarth killed? That's what I said. Her voice is low and hoarse, and her, hands, her hand is frozen over the basket. Something dark and empty clouds her eyes. That's why you'll be a soldier one day. To protect and to avenge. Why don't you go back out and play? I'll finish up here. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Okay, so we got to the bottom of the stairs, and we have a doorway here, which is locked, unfortunately. But I think with our current place, we've gotten deeper than the basement, so I think this will be a good place to stop. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.